friends, welcome back to my channel. As always, I hope you guys are doing safe and well. It's been a hot minute since I made a video. I just don't want to put content out there that's not valuable either. Like, I, I want to have fun with it. I want my channel to be where you can either learn something, it could be an escape for you. So I don't really want to, and I don't feel right to put out content that's just not going to be useful to you. So anyway, today I'm filming my first part of the series of my Declutter to Minimalism series. If you've seen my other videos, you will see that. I just want to be a minimalist. It's been a good while since I've looked into minimalism and honestly, I just, there's just something in me that connects to that i'm not gonna lie i have been such a maximalist to the point of where i didn't realize that i was doing it until i came across minimalism which sounds utterly crazy i know but yeah i'm just such a hoarder of everything i don't want to go into the reasons why i feel like i'm like that i just that will be a whole separate video on its own maybe one day i can do but for now, I just want to get out of that mindset everywhere I look around, even though there's like pretty things and there's candles and there's perfumes, like even just looking around now, yeah, it's pretty, but it's getting to the point now where it feels like clutter. It's hard to describe, but when you get to that place, which I'm in at the moment, it's like I just don't want that. Like I just want peace of mind. I want a clear space and I want everything to be minimal but I also want it to add value to my life. Just my windowsill where you guys are right now. My water bottle, my camera obviously because it does add joy to my life and it brings value to my life because I put great content out there for you guys so yeah. And the secret is pretty much it that adds real value to my life but when you look at the windowsill there's loads on there and I just don't want to live like that like this for me like right here this is what we're gonna declutter today my lipsticks and my lip glosses and lip liners and stuff like that this and the whole Alex line drawer is full of makeup which at one point I'm not gonna lie did bring me joy but for how long because it didn't last I think it brought me joy because I thought I was twinning with my favourite influences. Does that does anyone else feel like that? But anyway, this at one point used to bring me joy. Now, completely honest, I hardly wear makeup, which is such a big thing for me. And I do want to concentrate on like my skincare and everything. Like, this is what I look like without makeup. Um, if you want to unsubscribe, no, I'm joking. Please don't. Long story short, I am on my journey to minimalism, and I'm very excited. The little things that I do have, I want to truly value them. I can't remember whose video I was watching yesterday. I want to say Josh, but I don't think that's his name, so let's just ignore that one. I'm saying that basically, if you have ten pens, you're not going to look after them. You're not going to value them. But if you had one and try having one of those things, you know that's your only pen you will look after it and that is so true now i could could not even tell you where half these lipsticks are whereas i know if i declutter them and i have a few i'm gonna value them so much more and because i don't wear makeup that much anymore either it literally is just sitting there for no reason it's money going to waste whereas i can sell them for a few quid and put that money aside so this is my plan i'm just gonna tell you guys i'm basically gonna declutter this but i want all my makeup that I keep, I do want to keep some, I still go to weddings, still, you know, there's Eids, birthdays, still, things like that, that I would still wear makeup to. But yeah, this, instead of holding my lip gloss and lipsticks like it does now, I want this to be my only drawer full of makeup. And hopefully, oh, like, imagine this is all my lipsticks and everything, yeah? Imagine all my makeup's gonna fit in here, like, I have over 70 make eyeshadow palettes. I know, before you say anything, I know. I'm very much aware of what you're thinking. I, th I think the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, basically the plan is to fill this with things I don't need. Um, the, Mr. Freed actually gifted me items to try because I'm going gluten free. So yeah, it's just a cute little tote. So this is gonna have everything I want to resell or give to friends and family in here. I want this to be a series. So the first video is obviously lippies, then skincare, eyeshadow palettes, whatever, in whatever order. But if you see me wearing the same thing, please just know that it's most likely 
the same day that I'm filming all the decluttering series. So I'm going to do as much as I can today. But yeah, that's the plan. And let me just show you. That's what we're going to be emptying. So we're going to clear this drawer. Also, I've, I've tried to hide my hands. <laughs> I look like I have an infection or something on them. I don't. And my nails are disgusting. It's actually Mendy. For some reason, it's just not I wanted to leave my fingers. <laughs> yeah, the hand bit's gone. So yeah, we're rocking that. So if you see my hand and you're like, girl, you need to go to hospital. I don't. It's... I've explained it to you now. First thing we're going to get rid of these little bits. Can I just add best perfume ever? This perfume is so stunning. Look how little I've got left. It's the Libra Intense. I have no idea why I wear this to work. I will say I always get compliments when I wear this. Always. And then, I'm not that keen on Olympia, but these two, these two mixed together. Oh my God. I don't know how I'm still single. Anyway, moving on. I like it even better than the original, but yeah. I don't know why I wear these perfumes to work. Like, who do I think I am? Do I even have that much money to be just like, no. Anyway, let's get this down. I feel really nervous. I don't know why. Oh my God, you're so diagonal. Look. Okay, first group of lipsticks, we have MAC. So I'm just going to be honest, I feel like I want to keep all my MAC lipsticks. I actually really like them. Okay, so I'm just going to open them so you can see the colours and everything. So here we have the MAC lipsticks. And to be honest, I want to keep all of them. Um, they are a bit messy, so don't mind that. I'm not just going to clean them up for this video, but I will if I'm selling them. The only one I might get rid of is this one. I'm not quite sure what I was thinking buying. It's not focusing for some reason, but this one's called On and On. That might, oh god, that was not a good idea to put it on this uh, thread. But yeah, I love these lipsticks. Another one I might get rid of is Vegas Vault and Pig Pigeon. But every other one is just a, like a nice nude or dark winter shade, so I will be keeping them. So, time to get rid of all of these. This is a bit crazy like I don't even know what I was thinking but it is a collection over the years don't forget so yeah first up we have Medora lipstick oh, wow okay that can clearly go in the bin um because I don't want anyone to have that I don't know if they're all like this are they no so these are like uh, these are really nice lipstick and um, there's just so many of them so I don't I might sell these on if anyone's training to be a makeup artist or anything like that um that would be really useful to them i did watch blush and draft ikra from blush and draft do a video on Madora lipsticks but as you can see they're not used and they can just go to a better home if anyone's training to be a makeup artist this by the way if you can get your hands on it is such a beautiful nude it is called demure these ones i'm gonna keep because if you know me i'm the biggest ignore my nails please these ones i'm gonna keep from revolution because i'm the biggest friends fan ever and oh, i just i have to yeah let's just not even talk about it but i'm gonna keep them this is such a beautiful shade again if you know this is the 107 rimmel if you know you know zoella days but it's years old it's going in thin i don't know what this is called but so if i don't have one like that in my collection i will use it if not i will chuck these ones are beautiful but i don't need them anymore that's a lovely pink shade. I might keep that one because I genuinely don't think I've got one that that in the collection. But yeah, these ones can. I just, whatever I don't use, I'm chucking. This one is really nice, but I've used it quite a lot. These sample ones, I'm just going to keep and put in like my, when people buy stuff, I'm going to keep it in that. This is the most beautiful nude lipstick I ever did see. This is the Soap and Glory 5th Avenue. Such a beautiful shade. Keeper. I don't know if Kiko do these anymore. These are the best lipsticks. Like, if you want a lipstick that does not budge, this, I always get compliments on this. But I'm not going to lie, I've had it for so long, so it's time to bin. Almost run out of that one, so that can bin. I don't know why I got, like, I got all of them. I think I got them for a video. Like, let's be honest, I don't use them like hardly ever 
and I don't want to sell them because they're even though like this one is brand new I've hardly ever used it but they are literally years old so I don't want anyone else to have them um we won't even talk about that one straight in the bin uh Clinique oh okay I'm gonna have to keep that one <laughs> that is lovely oh my one of my favorite nudes ever it's called chauffeur by revolution but I'm gonna be honest that's in an I don't know pile but I think it's gonna go in the bin because I've got too many nudes used to love this hardly ever wear it tell how much I love this this was the 17 just a fling lipstick like but no bim again i've got so many 17 lipsticks look at that i used to love these honestly this is called going steady it is just such a nice nude but yeah bim. i had these for ages just because i was like oh my god i need to keep them they're so old i can't even tell you i don't use them they literally just play purposes but obviously now that I'm going to minimalism, I really don't need them. I don't need anything on display like that. So these are unfortunately all in the bin too. Okay, I need to talk about this Stay Pout lipstick from Seventeen. These are some of the best lipsticks ever. Oh my god, look how gross my nails is. I do don't. Um, this is called Make an Entrance. And let me tell you the amount of compliments I used to get on this. But I used to wear like obnoxiously loud lipsticks, which I'm not about anymore. These I've had for ages collection this is just going in the bin too long had it for too long had a black lipstick <clears throat> yeah let's not even talk about it that's going in the bin i don't know why my camera is not focusing today but yeah this is clarin's lipstick it's brand new um i think that can go to such a better home because i won't use it then we've got some dior ones it's a nice pink nude it just doesn't last so binning it oh i think that can go in with someone's parcel they don't have to pay for it it's just a mini marie's but i just don't need it i'm not gonna wear it so bin nars lipstick yeah i'm just not gonna use it unfortunately and it's in such a state wow i'm just i'm actually disgusted at myself i'm sorry but i'm keeping this like glastonbury my ultimate winter thing this is a wet and wired one i just don't use it I'm going bin this was like one of my high-end purchases it's called risk it all I just don't wear shades like this. I, I'll put it into the someone else can buy it, but I don't know yet. Nudies, again from MUA. Better ones in my collection, to be honest. So they're going in the bin. Oh my god, does anyone remember this sleek lipstick? Barely there. That everyone used to love, and it used to be, yeah. Wow, I've had this for years. So you can tell. Again, I was all about the bright lipsticks. This one's called Delinquent. Oh my god, this brings back so many memories. And I don't know why it's shaped like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. My NARS Julia. I'm going to keep this as my own new orange lipstick. And then I'm going to sell my Vegas Vault. But this is such a lovely colour. So guys, from all of that, we've kept these. And some of these are still, I don't know. But I think I've done really, really well. And as like... As savage as I could be. So yeah, I think I've done really good. So now on to the next okay, drawer. Okay, so next up we have this drawer. This is basically my nudes. Uh, wow. <laughs> my nude lippies. So, going to be as quick as I can with these two. So these two I basically don't use. This can go to a better home. Actually, both of them can go to a better home. This is a really, really nice lip gloss. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to chuck because it doesn't last very long. This is my MAC lip glass. I love this, so I'm going to keep that. Next lingeries I've had for absolutely ages, so instead of selling them, I might just chuck them. These I've had for the longest time. I'm going to chuck. PS Liquid Matte Lips, and I don't feel like I've ever used them. Bought a glass in Madeline. Need to keep, I'm sorry, it's amazing. I need to keep it. Jenna Tutorials Glass. I love this, so I'm going to keep. This literally does not show up on my skin tone, so chuck. Again, got another one that I've not used, so that's going. On to the next drawer. Okay, next drawer. I think I'm going to keep most of these. I know, I know. Don't judge me, please. I'm going to chuck this, actually, because this is the Elf Praline Praline. Um, I've had it for quite a while. I need to let go of this. This is the Stila best liquid lipstick in the world keep these uh two face ones i've got a cookie one somewhere but i love these so much go to a better home because i just don't use it 
and the rest if i'm completely honest i'm keeping okay i need to be a bit more savage with chucking never use it looks gross so i'm chucking time to chuck these just just so old they're really really good i would definitely recommend these but i've had them for too long so chucking them they're way too old chuck them this can I, I might sell this as a trio because again i just haven't used them i don't think i've ever got around to using them never use it chuck him i'm literally throwing this because it's just simply that old this is just empty i don't know why i kept it for memories i don't know okay believe it or not guys we're on to the last straw but yeah i'm just gonna empty this one out. again keeping my friends ones these ones chucking this one these ones are cute but i just don't use them so here we have it guys that is one draw. My Lottie London, like my Lottie Londons are at the bottom. And then you've got my matte lipsticks, but my shade M's there. And then I had to keep this one, Revolution one, because I do use it quite a bit. I, I, I do want to get a brand new one of that because I have had it a while, but I want to use what I have first. So um, that's why I've kept that one. I know a lot of you are going to be like, Samina, that is still a lot. And I agree, but guys, this date of it oh my god embarrassing but okay this was full of lipsticks and i've reduced it down to one I have so many going in the bin like we have maybe this like is quite full to sell on yeah i'm just really proud of myself again i know for this a lot of people this is not minimalism and whilst i'm clearing out my other drawers i know that this is going to be reduced again i was actually going to get rid of all my lottie londons but if i just lift these ones up it's like the shades that i have i don't feel like i would need to buy any more lipsticks because i literally have every shade going and then i've got a few glosses here that is again more than i need so i'm really really happy with that and i'm so proud of myself again i will be decluttering this a lot more that is it my makeup like has reduced dramatically already so i can't wait for the next declutter video i really hope you enjoyed this please remember to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Bye.